All right, Yahoo Fantasy Auto Racing, week 12. We're going to take a look at the Autism Speaks 400 held at the Dover International Speedway, the Concrete Monster Mile in Dover, Delaware. Uh, just talking a little bit about the race. Kyle Busch was the winner of the race. He had a spirited battle with Jimmy Johnson uh, throughout the day. Came down to the last set of green flag pit stops with just under 40 laps to go. And Kyle Busch got off pit road without any flaws. Jimmy Johnson... Saw what was happening, tried to make up some ground on pit road, got caught for speeding, had to serve a, a speeding penalty, which is a pass-through pit road penalty, cost him a lap on the racetrack under green, and pretty much handed the race to Kyle Busch. Kyle was really untouched from that point on, and uh, went on for the win, his second win of the season. Um, uh, the other stories from the race, Casey Kane was dominant early, first uh, 20 laps or so, but had a shifter break in the car. That put that team out of contention. And uh, as far as on-track incidents go, uh, Jamie McMurray and Juan Pablo Montoya had mechanical woes. They dropped by the wayside. Montoya was never really in contention, but McMurray was actually 11th when his track bar broke, dropped him out of the race. And uh, no real wrecks to speak of. Marcus Ambrose and Sam Hornish Jr., uh, they had some incidents. Hornish has one every week, so... Uh, let's get to the fantasy standings. This week's winner, Ono a blowout. 324 points for the team, 13-point victory over Lightning McQueen. This is Blowout's third win of the season. First solo victory. The last two wins for Blowout had to be co-victories, so this is the first solo win for Blowout. The strategy for Blowout this week was Matt Kenseth and Jeff Burton in Group B. Jeff Burton was second, Matt Kenseth was third. I uh, do want to point out, nobody started the winner this week. So second and third, uh, best results you could really get this week. Uh, and then Jimmy Johnson had the troubles not happen. Johnson would have had a much better finish for Blowout. Blowout could have won by a lot more points. But Johnson wound up 16th after the uh, pit road incident. And Paul Menard was the second best C driver this week, got 21st overall. So that was Blowout's strategy for victory. Moving to second place, Lightning McQueen, 311 points, 13 points out first this week. Uh, had Jimmy Johnson in Group A. Uh, the disappointment from the penalty dropped Johnson to 16th. was actually McQueen's lowest finishing driver, though. So if your lowest driver is 16th overall, you're going to get a good finish, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, Group B, top two drivers for McQueen. Jeff Burton in second and Ryan Newman in 13th. And then the best driver in Group C all week was A.J. Allmendinger. He got 14th in the race. Uh, McQueen was the only guy to start Allmendinger. So that team got a respectable 311 and just missed out on a win this year. Uh, High White and Handsome was third in the standings this week, 291 points, uh, 33 out of first. Used Denny Hamlin in Group A, uh, fourth place finish for Hamlin. Group B went with Martin Truex and Ryan Newman, 12th and 13th respectively. And Group C used Casey Mears. Mears was a uh, unusual situation there. Brian Vickers had to step out of the 83 Red Bull car this week due to blood clots. He was not medically cleared to race. They needed a relief driver for the week. Casey Mears wound up being the, the super sub and wound up 22nd. Now, on paper, that doesn't really look that good. That team did start the race 39th, though, so picked up 17 spots over the course of the race and was the third best C driver this week. So an economical start, maybe a risky play, but it, it could pay off when you need to start down the road, uh, as Mears may or may not be in the car for the race two weeks from now in Charlotte. Fourth this week, Team Edwards, the driver, 258 points, 66 out of first. Used Denny Hamlin in Group A, got a fourth. Was the only team's top 10, though. Uh, two more drivers in the top 20, Ryan Newman and Clint Boyer, 13th and 17th, respectively. And Paul Menard, second best C driver, was 21st in the standings. And Team Edwards got another top five this week. Uh, that team is definitely very good at picking up the top fives. Uh, just edged out Woe, a left turn for fifth by a point, actually. Woe got 257 points, 67 on first. Had Jimmy Johnson in Group A, what might have been, wound up a 16th there. Group B had Jeff Burton in second, but Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, was the only team to start Dale Earnhardt Jr. this week. Earnhardt Jr. was never in contention all week. Just absolutely missed the setup or something. Wound up 30th and got beat by a lot of C drivers this week. Very disappointment. Very very disappointing finish from Dale Earnhardt Jr. And then Scott Speed was 23rd. Uh, interesting thing was C group drivers... Paul Menard, 21st, Casey Mears, 22nd, Scott Speed, 23rd. So those three guys were right on top of each other. Pretty much created a wash as far as C-group scoring goes, unless you're Lightning McQueen and you started Almondinger, or as we'll talk, a couple other teams 
went with some interesting choices from Group C and wound up paying the price for that. Uh, sixth was one of those teams. Greek Thunder had 245 points, 79 points out of first. Just missed the top five this week. Went with Carl Edwards. Was the only team this week that did not use either Denny Hamlin or Jimmy Johnson in Group A. Got an eighth out of Carl Edwards, so definitely a good finish there. Got a seventh. Best finishing driver for Greek was Kevin Harvick in seventh. Casey Kane. Uh, had those troubles not happen with the shifter, Casey could have won that race for sure. Wound up 20th, so that sunk Greek's chances. Add that to the fact that Sam Hornish qualified 10th, dropped like a rock through the standings, wound up finishing 34th after two solo incidents on the racetrack. Uh, that did not help Greek's chances, wound up finishing outside the top five. Uh, two points behind Greek, 81 out of first, was the wall always wins. A tough week for that team. The best finisher on that team was 10th place Joey Logano. He was also the only driver in the top 15 uh, for that team. As Jimmy Johnson's troubles compounded the wall struggles this week, wound up 16th on the racetrack. Uh, Casey Mears, the spot start strategy, may or may not have paid off for the wall, wound up 22nd with Casey Mears. And then David Reagan was the only team to start David Reagan in Group B this week. Reagan wound up 26th, was never really a contention. Uh, Might have been a, a smart start considering that Roush Fenway's record at Dover has been fantastic, but Reagan never really showed any signs of running up front and was barely mentioned on television this week, so... Rough, rough week for Reagan. Uh, eighth this week was Hulk Smash. Last week's winner finishes eighth this week. 236 points, 88 points out of first, and seven points out of seventh. Went with Denny Hamlin and Kevin Harvick, uh, fourth and seventh respectively. Fantastic finishes there. You'd think this team would have finished a lot higher, but Scott Speed out of Group C getting 23rd. Uh, wasn't the best C driver available. And Jamie McMurray, uh, the track bar tra problems. 32nd in the overall standings by races in. That sunk Hulk Smash this week. Last this week, zero points, Kane rules. 324 points out of first because didn't make any changes. Uh, still using drivers that don't have any starts left. So that team has quickly fallen by the wayside. And it's pretty much out of contention in the overall standings as well after just two weeks. In the overall standings, High Wide and Handsome now holds a 132-point lead over Ono, oh a blowout. Uh, Lightning McQueen sits third, 189 out of first. Blowout and McQueen are definitely keeping things close and staying within you know, a two- or three-week charge of getting back in touch with Handsome, so things are still close. Fourth is definitely a dogfight. Six points separate Hulk Smash and the Wall for fourth. Uh, sixth right now is Team Edwards the Driver, over 120 points back from fifth. But over 100 points ahead of seven. So and Edwards has a cushion uh, from the top four and from the bottom three. Woe, uh, left turn, is seventh in the standings. 517 out is now putting some distance between himself and eighth place Greek Thunder, who continues to struggle. 619 out of first. And then you've got Kane Rules, who is now over 1,000 points out of first. So next week there is a race, but it's a non-points race. It's the all-star race from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Saturday, May 22nd, you don't got to set your lineup because it does not impact fantasy standings. Fantasy Racing picks up again two weekends from now at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Coke 600. Uh, that's going to be held Memorial Day weekend on Memorial Day Sunday. Your driver pool locks Thursday, May 27th at 2 a.m., so that's two weeks from now. And uh, the starter pool locks Sunday, May 30th at 3.16 p.m. So hope to see everybody there and get their lineup set up for week 13 in Yahoo Fantasy Auto Racing. Until, uh, until then, we'll, we'll see you then.